all right so finally you're here and this is your ginger honey chips in america america the heavens on earth and as i move on i tell you every day if you find yourself in america then going to heaven will be easier and any other country you will try to go to heaven because everything is made easy for you as i welcome you today to this wonderful elegant conversation between two wonderful supporters and pillars behind the council of Luther foundation if you have any other thing you want to do for yourself in this time that we're moving from summer to the winter then you need ginger honey chips 862-215-2007 put it in your cocoa in your rice water in your oatmeal you can put it in your wine <laughs> It gives you a delicacy. You know what ginger can do. You know what honey can do. I introduce to you the great people I'm having a conversation with today as a result of an achievement that has come to our great foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the two beautiful, able women that I have here with me. I have Miss Adelaide Quarte, the patron of Councillor Lutrot Foundation. That our main aim, you know already, is taking care of children with cerebral palsy. With their parents as well and we're taking care of them and taking care of people with diabetes people with asthma and the needy in society miss adelaide quarte madam you're welcome thank you all right so me. thank you and we are talking from yonkers in the united states of america and i have here the chairperson of the foundation miss ya ofran and um, she's elegantly representing us because lucky enough She's won an award for us, and we are proud of her. And we're going to discuss the awards today. The award is in the box there. See, I'm going to show it out today. But Ya Ofan is also here. She's the chairperson of Council Electoral Foundation. Does the same thing for cerebral palsy children, for people with asthma, people with diabetes, and children in need. A lot has been done. Madam, you're welcome. Thank you. Hey, she's so romantic that I can't hear her voice. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, she has a romantic voice. So, I mean, it's okay. And um, um, she has ginger honey chips here. She supplies it to all of you. Anywhere you want ginger, just get in touch with it and it is good to go. All right. So, once again, I welcome both of you to this evening's conversation. Specifically, we're going to talk about the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes, and Asthma. And the messages will be read from the phone that she has. Our patron is here. Our president is here. So we have the right to have a conversation. First, let me take a greeting from our patron, Miss Adelaide Quarte. Yeah, um, I welcome you to this program. The viewers, the listeners, and also people who are watching us. Uh, I am proud and happy to support Councillor Lutro's foundation. It's been a great award for me because helping people who are really in need is something that satisfies my soul. Because I have a child with cerebral palsy. He was condemned to death, but right now he's 32 years old. Wow. And I'm proud of him. Wow. And I'm proud of myself being a mother and being a mother to other children. I get wow. calls all over the place wow. with children with cerebral palsy. Wow. So I am happy to host this program and share my view or views on behalf of people with cerebral palsy or uh, asthma and diabetes and other disabilities and anytime they knock on my door i am willing to open the door for That's them right. so we could reach out to a lot of people thank you thank you for listening to me all right also uh, mommy um, um, it's good we're in october and mm -hmm. uh, before we come to our foundation the october month has been declared a month of breast cancer awareness and uh, we want every woman watching us including men like us to encourage their mothers their sisters their daughters their wives their girlfriends to examine their breasts to find if there's anything lump. in it a lump in it that they have to work on so i don't know what message you have for women uh, on this breast cancer awareness month well i believe in eating fresh foods okay. because if you look back our parents our grandparents never had 
uh, breast cancer. Not a lot of them, but right now, you know what it is? It's popular. Yeah. Reason being, we don't eat well. Okay. We don't really eat well. You might go to the doctor's office or whether they can prescribe a lot of medication for you, but you know what really matters is eating good and taking care of your body. It fights a whole lot of diseases in your body. So I'm urging you to eat good fruits, vegetables, fresh foods like kontomre, akwedu, apples, uh, oranges, and whatnot. When it comes to soup, buy the cheapest uh, amani that you can get, herrings. Cook some good um, soup for yourself. Don't really think, oh, if I buy chichinga, if I buy uh, chinalo meat, whatever, that will make you, these are the things that causes a lot of cancerous diseases in our body. I'm urging you to eat fresh foods, fresh uh, uh, vegetables, fresh, everything should be fresh. Don't eat because you are rich, you can eat uh, domedo or fat. You can eat, I mean, I told you, chinalo, and you buy the fatty parts of the chinalo, which is meat, cow meat. These are the things that causes uh, cancers. Not only breast cancer, a lot of cancerous uh, disease we have in the body is caused by the food we eat. So we've got to watch our food and the way we eat them. So do you also encourage people to go and examine their breasts? Very important. People, uh, let me use myself as an example. Okay. One thing I'm scared of is going to the hospital. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. I'm, I'm not discouraging people from going and checking. My friend went to check hers. Okay. She came crying. Oh, I think, I said, what? He said, when she went to be examined, they pushed her breast to the, uh, the... By the time she got home, her breast was swollen. I'm not going to encourage people for breast cancer. All I'm encouraging you, eat good. Avoid uh, oily foods. Avoid fatty foods. Avoid whole lot. It's you are in control. So please, it's up to you to go for... Uh, the a breast cancer, the screening every year. But if I would tell you the truth, it eat good. well. Eat well. well. But well, if you're afraid to go to the hospital like Antiquali, you can do your own self breast yes, examination. Yes, by examining your, yeah, examine your own breast. breast. And mm -hmm. if you don't get anybody to do it, you can request for um, a helping hand. And I have a young man who, who does it very well. Mm -hmm. His name is Uncle Mark. And we can do that for you. Well, um, Miss Yao, friend. <laughs> Our president, why are you laughing? And yeah, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are celebrating by getting themselves some bottle of wine, and it's it's a celebration time. And you live well. I tell you that. Look, enjoy life. Don't allow anything to kill you faster than your time. Mm -hmm. Because in this world, if you live long, you help a lot of people. If you die early, you don't have opportunity to help you. You're looking very beautiful this evening. Uh, well, print proper. Uh, you have made up your face. Your wig is nice, and um, yeah. I will take it as early after the show because uh, I need to dress like you. Thank you. Well, how has life been with you? Life has been fine with me. I can't complain. We can, we can see life has been fine with you. Your <laughs> face is showing that life has been very fine with you. Because people who have life, it is fine. You see it on their face. See your neck. See your lips. See your nose. See your eyes. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That is a very beautiful president of Council Alutrod Foundation. I mean, it's not been easy with with um, being part of this foundation, but uh, I think you, you said it some time ago in an interview somewhere that your hobby is helping the needy and people who are in need. You have been with the foundation for some time now. What would you say has been your motivation in helping people who are in need? Um, what I would say is, I mean, to know that somebody needs help and for you to help the person, I think it's a, it has been, that will be my motivation and for, to see their faces when they get the help from you is the best thing you could ever, even imagine. I like it when you give somebody something and that expression the appreciation, the happiness that you see in your faces, that it has been my motivation. Now, constantly we keep um, going back to Ghana to go and donate and help 
people we do i mean the last time we had a party for people mothers with their cerebral palsy children it was fun in tema and a lot came up there we had a uh, feed mother and child in a for mothers we have more people we are taking care of every month um, how stressful has it been in raising funds to do these things well when it comes to financial part is it's very stressful but we have some people who are determined to help us help those who need it that's right um we thank them we appreciate their help i mean like pick up a phone to call them they will never say no and they will do it for you oh congratulations but this time no they won't be able to help but that you don't give up on that but some people just if you want to take a crown I said if they didn't hear it no to they come and they can't they come and do their donation as well so this time I will take the time to thank everybody who like pick up my phone and say you know what this is fifty dollars this is a hundred dollars there's a lot of people if I say I have to mention names there's a lot of people but we thank you all of you for being there for us and always being uh, supportive, especially Antukwali. Oh. She has been the pillar oh. of this foundation. Oh. And she has been a mother, oh. a sister, a oh. friend. Oh. Anytime you call on her, she will stop what she's doing and she will help. Wow. And I think you have been the best person for this foundation, so we thank you so much. Ah, we thank nice. you for being there. Thank you, thank thank you, you, thank you very much. There, thank yes. you very much. So, yes. so that, that's 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 a very good one. So, I mean, uh, in all these businesses that we're doing, helping the needy and people who are going through these things, we always have challenges. But uh, within all the challenges and the things we've gone through, we ask you what are some of the challenges and. How do you think we can mitigate? We can mitigate the challenges away. Uh, what would you say? What are some of the challenges, and how do you think we can mitigate some of them? How do we deal with them? Yeah, people, you call, they give you the support, but what are some of the challenges that you have encountered that you think we can work on? Um, the challenges we have so far is our financial support. Um, sometimes the donation we get is not enough. But then you can't leave it going like that. You know, most of the money, financial support we get, most of them comes from our pockets. Um, we try our best to help our community, to stretch our hands, to help anybody who needs it. So our really challenge is the financial support. I'm sure if we get more people to support us, we'll be able to like support and uh, help everybody who needs them. Well, thank you very much. I think, well, I don't know if you have anything to add with the challenges that we are going through financially. Yeah, and the, we are from the president of the foundation, I said it all. The main problem is um, we have more tasks than we are able to solve or we are able to deal with. So as she said, financially, we are weakened because we don't have, we want to help. But we are not able to help because we don't have the tools or the weapon to help. So we are pleading with anybody listening to us to do whatever, even if it's five, uh, 50 CDs or $5, you could put somebody to get the person, he or she, water. If you want to wait to get millions before helping, then you're not going to do anything. Get help. $5 will put somebody somewhere. 5000 and we see this will help somebody. Please, let's help the needy because people are dying. If you look at the people in Ghana suffering, despite the fact that some of them are normal, or you call it regular, how about the, uh, the uh, special ones? They are suffering. Their mothers don't have a good job, and most of the time it happens to poor people. Where do they get the money? So what happens? They kill them and call them with you back. <laughs> They kill them, they call them, so they call them financial uh, need for the children. They don't get, what do they do? They intentionally take them to the bushes, riverside, seaside, and kill them. So you are talking can't. about children with cerebral palsy? Yes, they, that, they are even worse. 
Tell was the kids are the ones they kill more, so mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. They are the ones kill more than any disability in Ghana. Because here we go, the child can't even get up. The head is loose. Every part of the body, there's no muscle tone. Mm -hmm. So if you look left and right, hair, I call we mean this can't handle. Then what do they do? They take them to the seaside, river, whatever, bushes, and kill them or leave them in the bushes, whether they, they wallow in the bushes or whatever. They don't care. All you see, they are dead. Then they say, oh, oh yes, so bad. it will be other fun. That's a damn lie. I'm telling you, that's a damn lie. And I can fall. There's somebody who left the child in the bushes for four days. She couldn't see. She couldn't do anything. And something spoke to her that she should go back to where they perform the so-called ritual. The boy was there. The boy was there. The boy is now is in 14 or 15 years. Very, although he has his problems, but he's still alive. So if we have all these finances to support these foundations, I think it will take us to a higher place. Well, uh, these um, cerebral palsy children, they are one of the special areas that every time we want to talk about. Yeah. And then um, you have been a veteran as a result of you um, finding yourself with a child of that nature. And congratulations, your son is going to be 33 years yes, in, February. in February. Congratulations. Thank I you mean, so much. And it's, it's not being an easy task okay. uh -huh. for 33 years managing a handsome young man. And I see his pictures on the wall. Usually, if you see this young man's picture on the wall, you're yeah. looking forward to a very high grown up man i mean the story you keep repeating is when he gave birth to the boy you were told his lifespan less than three years it's less than three years and yeah. and and if it's ghana i know it could have been two weeks this is not because we have the the bad medical system but mm -hmm. i'm saying that because um like you said in sober in sober we don't understand the clinical deficiency of such children so most of the times we 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 tend to look for spiritual answers traditional answers but here comes to America where we have facilities because it's well developed than our place. They said the child has three years to live and the child has added yes. 30 years, has less than three years. And he's added 30 years to the less age. I mean, thanks be to God. Mm -hmm. But what did you do that was the secret? And viewers, let me tell you, next week, We'll have a chat with mommy and son so that you can see Uncle Mark. I mean, he's, he's, his love is a fun guy to be with. I mean, he will laugh and you will feel it. He's, he's, he's a fun guy to be with. And I come to live with my auntie and Uncle Mark. He sent the boy to do everything mm -hmm. for her. Thank you. I'm looking for my phone. Then he will send Mark to get break. There are times I think it's disturbing. Yesterday I was here. Funny thing. He says, hey, Mark, me to a wig, Mau. Go and get me a wig. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> and he went for the wig, you know. It's like, I asked myself, how do you communicate? You've done this for 30 Thank plus you. years. Congratulations. Thank you. How do you do it? Because... People have two years and they want to collapse. <laughs> 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 My wife is laughing. Eh? I mean, how do, you, how do you do it? How do you do it? Or how did you do it? I mean, that would be the right English. Uh, it's all about, I, I, I will still emphasize on the word patience. Patience. Yeah. Because they are a handful. Mm. From morning to night, you do this, you feed them, you take their diaper for, I changed Mark's diapers for 10 solid years. The reason why I stopped wearing diapers, when he was 10 years, I threw a big party for him because I was told he's not going to go up to three years. So when he turned 10, I said, no, this boy should. Even the man was mad. I called him for a way, now I got here, now I didn't know what I was doing soon. I said, you didn't spend a dime on the party that I'm having. I know what I'm doing it. And since I did that party for my son at 18, he stopped wearing diapers. Wow. And he became independent. Wow. When he wants to use the bathroom, he goes on his own. Yes. He started taking showers by himself. Wow. He started wearing clothes. I was shocked with one simple party that I did. And I did it a big time party for him. Wow. And he stopped everything. He became, although we're not going to get children with cerebral palsy 100%. Yes. My son was very severely damaged at bed. Right now, it's on borderline. Mm. We're not going to get no we, mommy water, whatever can never come from wherever <laughs> to heal them. Yeah, they already been damaged. 
uh, 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 incident that happened when they were born. Most of them are brain dead or they suffered brain damage. Mm -hmm. So it comes in three hours. I will also say this. Okay. We have uh, severe, mm -hmm. we have mild, and we have borderline. Now, mm -hmm. Mark is on borderline. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get a hundred percent. We have accepted the fact that they've been damaged. So, but you help them eating, you have to spend time. Mm -hmm. But you got to spend time. Mm -hmm. When they are moving, you got to spend time. Mm -hmm. I left my master bedroom and sleep with my two beds. He sleep on one and I sleep on the other. Mm -hmm. Reason being, when he gets up, he want to use the bathroom, he will fall and probably hit his head on a wall or somewhere. So I said, no, I don't want to sleep deep. When my son, probably, people have died through um, hitting their heads and nobody saw them. Okay. So as soon as my wakes up, 2 a.m., I'm there. 3 a.m. day, wow. I'll follow him. Mark, are you okay? Until he goes back to sleep. Wow. It's not easy. It's all about time. Sacrifice your time and love them. Once you love them, I swear, blessing will fall left and right, mm. forward and backwards. Mm. There are blessings everywhere. Mm. I'm telling everybody. Mm. And one mm. of my people will testify. Mm. I told them that this is, look, she came to America. They had about 500 people for visa to America. She was the only one who got the visa. Yeah, yeah. And she came. Yeah, I know the about it. They to the child. Yeah. So these kids are a blessing to us, but people, African people, Ghanaians or whatever, see them as negative or some failures. Or, no, 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 no. They are blessings. Me, I have been there. I've seen. And I'm talking about what I know. Not somebody told me or whatever. I'm, I'm experienced to that fact that they are good luck. The counselor, I thank you very much for listening to us, hearing from us, and uh, people call me all over the place. Me mm. yo, hey, and you me So now even when I go on interviews, I don't know the language to use. Ah, because when Feel I free, English, happy yourself. When I do this, they say I don't even know the language. But English is the international language, so but speak don't forget it. that those who are vulnerable with children like this. They, can't, they don't even understand the, what we are saying. But so I, they beg you, sometimes bring you. So, so speak, you speak P for them. Speak Ga for them. Speak what you can. But I also want you to, I want you mm -hmm. to know that mm -hmm. from my own research, mm -hmm. most of these cerebral palsy children mm -hmm. are also in the house of most of the elites. Mm -hmm. Especially in Ghana, mm -hmm. when you count 10 influential people, they have children at home with cerebral palsy of course, yes. and autism mm -hmm. so and they have been hiding them but thanks to you and thanks to kofi tv and you i mean it, the first biggest interview came Ever. on kofi tv yeah. and we'll yeah. forever be grateful to kofi tv yes. he will forever be yes. our number one and yeah. nobody knows blogging better than kofi tv because the incident report in ghana will only come on kofi tv we had an interview and out of that interview people have, have stopped blessed. people have stopped killing dumping their the children kids. and killing their children mm -hmm. and you are living testimony 30 years mm -hmm. i can imagine okay. Okay. that you are taking care of a child who has okay. some okay. level of disability where clinically they say less than three okay. years okay. and now you've done 30 years and you are sharing the experience with us okay. And the things you do, oh yes, oh yes, you've done well, you've done well, and we need to give you more, more, more award. And I think last year you won an award, is that right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, last Through year you won. Foundation. Yeah, yes, mm. last last year I she won. won. Last year, yeah, and I think I won this. this yeah, year. So yeah, to, you to, got we, winning award. You thank, you, like thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll come back to uh, uh, Antiquali yeah. as I call it every time. But let me go to you. Yeah, yeah? Uh, Madam President. Yeah. I mean, so far, so good. By the grace of God, we are doing so well. And thanks to Dr. Quaising and Gloria Quaising, the Vice President and the Director of Finance. And then we say uh, their help has not just been in vain. Everybody's little effort has brought us far yes. where we are. Not always forgetting Kofi TV. He's also part of the Council of Electoral Foundation because everything we do, he's part of it. Thanks be to God. On the 1st of October, what happened? Share with us. 
and, and that's why they are drinking the wine. And and oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and they are bringing the one alongside the ginger honey chips. I say, if you are drinking whiskey, all you need is ginger honey chips. Hennessy, ginger honey chips. Any other thing you are drinking, ginger, even water, ginger honey chips, rice water, soboro, cocoa, ginger honey chips. Eight six two two one five. 2007. It's also a foundation number if you want to donate your $5, your $10, your $50, your $100, your $1 million. 862-215-2007. First October, what happened, my dear? Share with us. First October, I won um, a humanitarian award. Wow. Wow. It was exciting. Yeah, so let's see the award. I mean, so you won an award on the 1st of October. Yes. Uh, the 3G Humanitarian Award yes. for the service that you've been rendering to people in Ghana. So you can see the Humanitarian Award. Yeah, of CLF is Council Alutrot Foundation. We're grateful to God. So you won the award for all the services you have been doing. Congratulations, my Thank dear, you. as a president of the award. Yeah, I think say congratulations, <laughs> the two of you. But how does it feel to have an award? Is, is this your first award? First ever. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. My first ever. It was wow. Shocking. Wow. I don't wow. know what I did to deserve it. Wow. You did a good job. I was happy, very happy. I was wow. so happy. Wow. 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 I'm a contributor. Wow. Okay, so I think I want to give us some talk on the award, yeah? Uh, you know, in all things, we've got to say thank you yes. to the Almighty. That's right. Even Jesus Christ, when he in the letters, yes. only one person went to him and said thank you. Yes. Now we're gone. Yes, where are so, they? Um, so, if Cancer Luther's Foundation has taught it wise to award ya. For taking care of the foundation, uh, you name it. I'm not going to start from somewhere and leave somewhere. But the foundation is on the legs or the uh, ties of a uh, yes. of running. Yes, I mean, they say that she will go. They yes. call, she'll be there. Yes. They do this, she'll be there. Me, I took her because of mommy, mm -hmm. I don't have time to go anywhere. And everything is done by Ya of Farm. Yes. So if Ya of Farm won, and I want this year, she deserves it That's because right. she put in a lot of That's true. energy. Congratulations. To bring wow. The Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, wow. again, thank you. It's true. She's put a lot in it. Yeah. She put her family yeah. at risk, yeah. her insurance at risk, yeah. everything, registration. She She's done everything mm -hmm. for us. So yeah. thank you very much, Auntie Kwali. Yeah. And like Auntie Kwali says, uh, we are proud of her. Yeah. She. This award is mm -hmm. for her. And well, this is the beginning of 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 many awards to come. Yeah, and thanks to, come, to yeah, yes, to uh, yes, and thanks to Three G uh, 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 Award for recognizing the effort we're doing. It's not everybody that recognizes what we are doing because you see, it's funny. The help we give is in Ghana, and I'll say it and take it or leave it. The people we support are in Ghana. The activists we do, activities we do are in Ghana. So for somebody to recognize us, what we do in America, then it comes back to you that those in Ghana who are seeing what we are doing, when will they recognize what we are doing? But thanks be to God. The recognition doesn't come from them, but the effects is in Ghana. Mm. So thanks to 3G Media Award mm. for seeing the up and down we are doing, the organization, the effort. It is there. The pictures, the evidence are there. Feeding people, having parties with them is on Facebook, is everywhere. Yeah. And for somebody to even buy a plane ticket from America, come to Ghana just to go and have donation. People, think about it. Yeah. For somebody to sit down here and we are going to do a donation, say, I'm going to food. Let's do 300 pack of food. It's something else. Look, every January from last year, we started newborn babies from 30th, 31st to the 1st of January. Every new child is given a pack of diaper. The mother is giving food, water, and drink, giving money and credits. <laughs> And credit to call the family and tell the family, Mawo, Mawo, Utidin Kwang. We don't just do that. Nurses 
and doctors mm -hmm. who took care of them. Yes. We give them gifts mm -hmm. and feed them as well. This year, we are going again on the 1st of January. And what we are doing this year is that the rich hospital in, Ga in Ghana, Accra, the regional hospital, they are delivery bay. That's a rich hospital. Is it rich? Yes, rich hospital. They are, uh, no, Achimota Hospital, rather. Mm -hmm. We are donating a delivery uh, couch for them this year. Their delivery couch is bad. And so we're going to give them a delivery couch, two of them, which is solidly, uh, we have worked on it. And no matter how the price is, mm -hmm. we're working hard to make sure that we're going to give it to them. Mm -hmm. Now, all these things we are doing is not because of anything, but for humanity. Yeah. Because yeah. they are in a good position, yeah. to be honest with you. Um, they don't have anything that the other people need. Food is abundant in this house. Yeah. Everybody's house, you go, they have what to eat. And Auntie Kuali will tell you, why won't you give them something small to eat? Feed them at least a day. He has a plan that we should organize a place where every week people will go and eat kinky and go home. That's her mind. Yeah. We'll build a shelter in Ghana with a foundation. So if we have this award for your friend, she deserves it. Oh, yeah. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Sir. And anytime you win an award in this world, one of the things you know is that more work is coming on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to give you more pressure. And if you work with me, you know that this man sitting here, he likes pressure. But <laughs> the pressure, it gives a result. Mm -hmm. So once again, congratulations Thank you. To, to you yeah, again. No, and then, uh, uh, yeah. you. Congratulations once again. So ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun tonight. And this is um, Yao Fans Award. And remember that she appeared in Ghana Web, the biggest um, international, uh, what do you call it, website in the whole world. Yao Fran appeared in it with her award and a story of her life. You can go there and go and read there. On our website, too, you find her. On Facebook, she's there. She was celebrated at that night, and we are proud of her. I don't know what you're also doing somewhere. We need your help. We need your support. Any amount of money you want to give us, if you say every month I'm going to give you $100, you do a zeal for us. The numbers are there. They will type the numbers to you on the screen, and it's 862 215 2007. That's the Zill account. 862 215 2007. That is our Zill account. And in MTN, you want to do a normal MTN donation? It's 055 000 5077. So, I mean, those are the numbers that you can use to donate to us. Or you can directly do 0277 609. Six or more. So the Zill account is there. Support us. And all of you who are supporting us will forever be grateful. Bismarck, thank you every time you are there. I see you, Jane. I see you also watching us. Thank you very much for your support. I want to do a good wrap-up by having some good tidbits for especially people living with cerebral palsy, mothers, how they can help their sons and daughters. I saw a video today, eh? where a mother is encouraging the daughter to climb the staircase. It's, it, it, it was so emotional. And you know what I asked myself? If, if these people, one way or the other, might be well to do for the sake of the child, they might not even wish to live on that tall story building. But it boils down to the need in life. But there are blessings, like Mr. CNN will say, he calls Mark Manche because he, Mark is a good mind. These children are blessing when you have patience to take care of them. And Antiqua will always teach people how to do it. And as I'm speaking to you, there's a young lady that all of you watch us on Facebook, Jane, who has two kids, twins, Jibrim, who I'm still looking for. And he's suffering and struggling because if you refuse to take care of children. Look, men, hear me. You can hate the mother. But any woman you hate in your life, I won't fight you. But when a woman goes through delivery for you and makes sure that you have a child and you don't do the right thing for that woman, not only God will punish you, Satan will also punish you. And you can see that your life will not be okay. This young man had 
If you see Jane, she's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And Jibrim just took advantage. I, I won't say advantage. That word is not good. You know, I won't say she took advantage. Mm -hmm. She is not advantage. The two, I mean, I love you, Mepel. She was learning trade. She was living with somebody. Mepel mm Asim. -hmm. And Jibrim was a contractor. Came into her life. Went to their village. I'll build a mocks for the village. And if a man can come to the village and say, I'll build a mocks, That's it means the guy is okay. One thing led to another. And because pregnancy is not an airborne disease, two people had sexual intercourse without protection. And God being so good to Jane, she had twins. One mm -hmm. of the child, as beautiful as the child is, he's a celebrated policy child. Mm -hmm. She brought, all she brought to us was get Jibrim to take care of the children. Because Jibrim now became a burden to them. Now watch what happened. When she came down there, we saw these two beautiful girls. We realized that it's not about Jibrim taking care of the children. She didn't have an idea that the child was a celebrity policy child. Auntie Kwali and Ya, they were all watching the thing live. Immediately, she said, we're going to support this girl. The problem is, Jane doesn't know how to take care of a celebrity policy yeah. child. Gave her tidbits. Somebody brought Blender immediately. Auntie Kwali, as we speak, something is going to happen when we go back. She's looking for accommodation for Jane. She wants to put Jane back into sewing to go and learn fashion designing so that she becomes somebody. She's done this 30 years and she wants to make sure that the foundation together will put Jane in a better place. And this is not only Jane who, if I tell you the number of people that we are taking care of under celebrity policy, it's so many to do. So I want to take my final conversation to her. What are some of the things that we can do so that we can take care of children that we have with celebrate policy. Antiquity. I want over to, to you. I want to encourage the mothers. They always talk about we call it uh, physical therapy here, but in Ghana they call it physio. Mm -hmm. And they complain about uh, money for transportation. Da, 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 da. When you go once to the physio, as you call it, uh, mm -hmm. watch what the uh, physical therapist is doing. Mm -hmm. When you get home, don't leave it there. Do it. Mm -hmm. You are sitting in a chair, practicing. Mm -hmm. You are doing it. This case is all about time. Mm -hmm. If you don't have time, then they're not going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. But the least you do, the muscles become tight. But every minute here and there, you keep stretching them, doing this, doing whatever. Then the muscles keep relaxing, flexible. Then you, you take them to... Uh, I mean, I try to have a fish you, mm -hmm. and you don't have the money. You can't do it. Go there, see what they do, and when you get home, practice it. It's going to be the best for you. And don't, I keep saying, don't compare your child to somebody else. But mm. this is a robot person. Some of them can talk. Mm -hmm. And they say, Mark, like I have him, today he will speak. The mm -hmm. next day will be dragging himself. He will never even be able to make one sentence. Mm -hmm. Study them, have time for them, mm -hmm. talk to them, because the other children, they are okay. But these ones are the ones who need our help. So make sure everywhere you go and they tell you something, take you from them, continue. Don't think that it will, everything will come from heaven to help you if you don't help yourself. So my advice is spend more time with that child who is a real person. And don't stop complaining. When I am here, when I am, you say, when I am, a woman's 70 has been done already. The damage is now. You can't turn the clock backwards. It's done. So take it from there and help yourself and make yourself happy. When you, when even you are not happy, take him to the, I don't know, uh, the villages, I don't know, but any recreational place, take them. The beaches, where, 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 take them. Let them feel they are. Uh, your your child or their home, the more you love them, you see them smiling. Because, oh, you never did, uh, rejected me, but you made me who I am today. Mm -hmm. And the more you do that, the more you get your blessings. I'm mm -hmm. telling you. Mm -hmm. Me, my life has been on hold. But thank God, too much people call me with whatever, whatever, whatever. Why? Well, I don't want to go on that <laughs> line. Of, but people call me, they start crying, but the time they feel they are smiling. Because you are not the only one. We all have them. Make sure you do the right thing. Make them, and once they are happy, you are happy. You see, they can't talk, but they will look at your face and be smiling, smiling, telling you something, mm. sending you a message. 
but you don't know it. But God and all His angels above Amen. will bring blessing upon you. Amen. So I mean, that's what this wrong. Thank you. Prince Charles says, I'm inspired by your words. Thank you, mommy. That's what Prince Charles is saying live on Facebook. So thank you. Yeah, I remember we had an interview and you said that when you were pregnant, one of the things you were afraid of was to have a child that, uh, can you share that story with us? So she was not even having a child with cellular palsy, but when she got pregnant, mm. this is what she said. And I, I think this was right. You said what? Let me hear it. When I got pregnant, mm -hmm. the things I always prayed about said not to have a sick child mm -hmm. or disabled child because with my strength, I don't think I would be able to append it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and somebody have done it 30 years. Yes. <laughs> and for antiquity, <laughs> to go through this for 30 years hey. plus mm, 32 or maybe you 32 have done well because Thank you. even some of the children if I see children in a wheelchair I'm not a real I can't mm -hmm. even handle the emotion for you to live with it for 30 plus years you are inspiration. Thank you. You have done well. Thank you. And we thank you for being such a great mother. Thank you so much. Oh. I appreciate you. Thank you for recognizing me as a mother. Yeah. It's not an easy, easy task. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But you see, the problem I have is, like Yah just said, I asked her the question because uh, as I'm wrapping up, there are people like she was afraid to have a child with disability. I have encountered a lot of people who have children first that they have disability and because of the first child with disability they decide not to even have a child anymore because they think that their womb will constantly produce children with disability Antiquale, what is your take on what what will be on encouragement for somebody who have a child a lot of interviews that having a child you always have to put your trust in the lord we don't know what is going to come out of us mm. as i said mother will leave the child is gone mm -hmm. a child will leave the mother is gone mm -hmm. sometimes both of the mother and child are all gone mm. we don't know the predictions having a child so we can't judge whatever you do pray even if your first child is handicapped or whatever i will call your special need or whatever just go for it if you want to dwell on the fact that because this one is disabled i'm going to have disabled then you will never have any child we don't know some of me, this man, son who is cerebral palsy, he has taken me to a higher place. I have never been, I have never seen. Nobody will tell me. Meetings here, cerebral palsy, I am there. And I learn a lot. So if you want to think about, oh, because this one is cerebral palsy, I'm going, no, no, no. Then you never have any child or any children. Trust in the Lord. Whatever the Lord will give you, whether cerebral palsy, whether disabled, whether uh, whatever, whatever the condition, uh, take it. You don't know where that child will take you to. You might become a president. You might become somebody, an advocate for people. With, you never know, just have children. It's only the Lord who determines what we have. Going to have a child, and we don't know what we're coming. Whether we are coming, the child is coming, whatever, whatever. People can have 100 children. They are all normal, as you say, regular. Somebody will have one. That child is what? Abnormal, or what? I don't know how Ghana you call it. Yeah. Well, you see, so don't even think about because I'm pregnant. Well, this one is sick. I'm going, no, 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 no. Take that thing off your mind. Trust in the Lord. Stay uh, uh, healthy. And stop going to uh, this uh, fetish uh, priest or whatever. Uh, Mala, they will give you concussion. That will even make the child in the worse. Go forward and have the child, whether it's handicapped or no. The Lord that gave you that child will give you the strength to move on. Thank you. Now, so after Mark, you had another child. Yeah. And, okay. a, chi and, and a child is not a disabled child. <laughs> so, I mean, I just want to say that on record that the fact that you have a first yeah. child who is disabled doesn't mean the rest of the children no, 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 will become no. disabled no, as, well, no, no. as well. No, as well, no, no, as well. No. So, mean, trust in the Lord. And if you want to have children, we don't know who's going to take care of her. Me, my cerebral palsy kid is always here with me. Mark, go and do this. Mark, pass it. The able ones, you don't even see the castle will be a witness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the present to where they come, they will all tell you. I don't see the they have long legs here in this house. I don't see them. <laughs> it's my cerebral castle. Uh, uh, Mark, yes, you can they put on the light, put up the light, pass here. Go and get the letter. The cerebral 
kid. I bet if you want to have the child, go on and move, move on and have that child because you don't know what the person is coming to do for you. Now, now, what, what is your advice for men who are not like Jane? Like, like Jane, Jane, Jane. I am not going to touch that area. I beg your pardon. No, can you encourage fathers to also? Yes. Because Charlie, it, it's, it's an because Charlie, yeah. I, I, so it's can painful. You, we are talking about. Yes, no, I, I agree. No, I agree. But uh -huh. I'm saying that there are women today uh -huh. whose husbands. Uh -huh. When we had a party in Tema, yeah, some said uh -huh. their husbands uh -huh. are supporting. Okay. Others said uh -huh. they are not. Okay. Are all these fingers equal? They are not. But when you bend them, they can become equal. Okay, bend them and let's see whether they can become equal. Do this. So. Uh, sh uh, you see some is uh, no look at here this is the length so look, look at this one is it not no not the back not the back here where can you see? I, I, I can't see i can't see because uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah when i was going to see me to wabu who can't go past us over change the topic unfortunately uh, i don't have any advice for no man uh, if, you, uh, if you have a disabled child and you refuse to take care of him uh -huh. you want me to talk then i will tell you god will <laughs> well, I think there's a pain in the life of those who are now men. Now, they, they don't help you. They yeah, don't do yeah. They call them name. Or your boy, or your sober. And then, oh, yeah, hold on. Then you want me to talk about. Me see, every man who does this, uh, God should punish them. Me do who went. You are here. Uh -huh. You can't go off. You are here. Me, I'm saying it's not that, but it's a fact. How do you have a child? And because mm -hmm. the, the child comes in differently, and you abandon the child. Oh, so when he becomes rich, then you call the child yes. your your oh, That's my boy. Ah. <laughs> Because if I'm going to rain in sort of those fathers who die this with this, you know how we can like, like Jibrim. Like right now, Jibrim goes to the toilet, excuse me, my language, and he poops black. You see, yes, uh huh. And his business has gone down. Okay, oh, okay. I know what the Lord can do because I've lived with him. This man will come and pay money, million. When he gets to Ghana, business is gone, accident here, this, this, police are arresting him. Look, and they pay for it, I'm telling you, and I know what I'm talking about. That's why I don't want to discuss these issues. They will leave the child in your arms, crying on the street. That's the reason why I don't want to drive anymore. Because we drive the 180, speeding because Mark is dying at the hospital. And I have to get to the hospital less than 20 minutes. I will drive there. No, sometime I will uh, change the topic. Well, this is the frustration of a mother. Huh. But, yeah, and oh, this is 30 down. years. And no but woman gets down. pregnant by herself. Baby. It is a man that yeah, will yeah, pregnant. Ah, so right now, Facebook, hey. they are thinking about Fufu. And if I don't stop the show... They will bring the fufu to the table. <laughs> <laughs> Happy yourself Happy and congratulations to your friend for this award. I, I mean, you get emotional you. once a while, and um, I want to say a big thank you to you for your support, your friend. It's not been easy, mm -hmm. but it's okay. So let me encourage the rest of you. You can support our foundation by oh, uh, you, should, you can do cheers. Yeah, yes, yeah. you should cheer. Do cheers. Yeah, well, so cheers with the wine they are drinking, yes. On my behalf, they are drinking, yes. They crash their glasses, and I'm here drinking water. But it's good to drink water. Water Nobody is life. Nobody has asked me not to drink wine. <laughs> I will drink it myself. But I mean, let me say a big thank you to all of you. And this is a plea for you to support the foundation. The number again for the Zill account is 862-215-2007. And uh, we are pleading for you. I want to take yeah. last words from each of you there we go so yeah what's your last word for those who are watching us and want to support us we, I will, on behalf of cancer Luther's foundation i would like to thank everybody who before have helped us through all the financial need we we were seeking for 
we beg you. This time, we actually beg you, please. We have to help those who need it. Sometimes, Ushia will be no Okanasama. It's very sad. You will get emotional. We're not keeping this money for ourselves. We're helping those who need it. So anything you could have at all, your old clothes, um, asthma, pumps, um, diabetes, checks, everything you have to give it to us, wheelchairs, walkers, please, we will take it. If you could have these things for us, we will be able to help those who need it. The number is 862-215-2007. 2152007 and for the rest of us who can speak english what do you want to tell us in chi <laughs> okay ehia emwa a enso ya de baboa omo a ehia moa a omo ni bi nti e pamocho eh before no mo aboa ya ya me etimi aboa omo a nti se e pamocho se so mo timi boa e bi omo a e be ya because se se ano uh, asthma patients or diabetes patients, um, you hear wheelchairs, we hear walkers, you hear pumps, scow the brain, cerebral process, so and so on. To be be out of a boy, you beat me at the abwa woman. So, oh boy, yeah, and see me the abwa woman. And to say, oh, to me, who will be be sana so pretty or to me the boy, yeah. Number near eight six two. Eight six two one five two one five two zero zero seven. Now Ghana, a zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven. Yami shida baby I will be. Atiwali, your last words so we can wrap up for today. Um, my last words are for people who tuned in tonight. Yeah, listening to our frustration. Thank you. Trying to help people with disabilities. All right. Especially cerebral palsy. That's right. Cerebral palsy is so conspicuous in a sense that once they come out, you know this person in the air. That's right. Uh, if you be on the safer side, I will yeah. ask you to donate wholeheartedly. Thank you. Without thinking that oh, somebody is going to spend the money, I'm not doing it, or somebody is going to do this, no. Do it from your heart. That's right. It's the Lord who knows what you are doing. Amen. But if you want to listen to people, you never donated in a dime. That's right. People are out there suffering because it takes two to tangle. If you don't help us, how are we going to move forward? That's right. So please, we are not begging you for your money, but all we are saying is have this uh, sympathy in your heart and reach out to people who don't have. That's right. Because uh, if you see a child crying, what is it? Because there's no food, there's no this, medical attention is gone and whatever. But if you can donate even five CDC, you know, whatever, you can help the child. Coco, he or she can drink and sleep. That's right. But if Coco is not in the house, if Coco is not in the house, eh, how do you feel the child? You see the child crying, crying, crying. The mother doesn't have any job or whatever. Please, please. We are not begging you, but we are asking for your sympathy to donate so that we can help those who are in need. I will appreciate it. And also what I can say, God bless you all for listening to us and having an open heart to help us. I bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Well, thank you all very much for watching us this evening. And uh, we'll come your way again and so, and so. with, with mm -hmm. the, the other parts with Uncle Mark and Mommy. I say, if you are in America, we are getting to winter now. Your ginger honey chips is also available yeah, here. 862-215-2007. Proceeds out of the ginger honey chips also goes a long way to support the CL Foundation. My friends, wherever you are, if you are alive, thank God you are alive. Yes. If you have a child who is not even disabled, some people are not disabled, but they are mentally disabled. There are some children who can walk, but they are more burdened than those who cannot walk. Whatever God gives you, like mommy said, take good care of them. For those of you who don't even have children at all, pray to God like he was afraid that may God not give you a child that you can take care of. She was so scared.
And thanks be to God. Today, she's helping those who are in wheelchairs and those who are struggling to walk. Amen. I've been your host for tonight. My name is Reverend Counselor George Lutrot, the only counselor in the whole wide world. Well, you are afraid to say yes. But if you're watching me this evening, please remember 862 215 2007. In the month of October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I want to encourage you to examine your own breast or visit any clinical facility to do your breast examination. Early detection will save you from breast amputation. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Madam President and Madam Patron, bye-bye to all of you. Bye-bye to all of you. Drink your wine. Well, eat your food. <laughs>